Let's bring in Katie Linendahl, an expert in spying. Uh, she joins me now from New York. Just kidding there. She is an expert on all things tech related. So where do you want to start? I know you got props today. What is that? First off, let's start out with the SRV1 Blackfin. And this little robot here, uh -huh. TJ, if you go to any of the most popular robotics laboratories in the world, you will find him. But what's okay. really cool is it's starting to make its way into the average person's home as oh. a home monitoring unit. You can see it. We've taken it around the studios here at CNN in New York. And what's awesome is you can remotely access it using any web browser anywhere across the world. So, for example, I actually use my iPad to control this in my Manhattan apartment, which is wow. pretty remarkable. And it's using very sophisticated technology and I could sit here all day and tell you about the incredible processor inside here and the components <laughs> but all you need to know is it has the capability to fire lasers it, end of story okay it fires lasers now, now I thought this was a thing. it doesn't have a <laughs> it doesn't have a camera on it you can see what's going on as yes. well right but you can yes, also it has a camera okay go ahead camera right on the forefront so again you put this anywhere in your house and it has the ability to really rove anywhere you're controlling it remotely using any web browser so it flies around your place it's incredibly fast you can change the speeds and like I said before the components inside here are pretty remarkable and actually a device very similar to this is being used in tests for Google's lunar landing contest which gives 30 million dollars to the first team to reach the moon so talk about sophisticated technology you have it right in here the SRV1 Blackfin. Katie, Katie, Katie. Why, why would I need to fire a laser? Listen, everybody, robots and lasers, TJ. <laughs> that's all we need in life. Uh, Maybe it, some fire. Is it supposed to hurt somebody? If somebody's breaking into my house, I see them, and I send a little four-inch <laughs> robot after them, they're going to step on it. <laughs> Maybe I should clarify. Okay. The lasers are more like laser pointers coming out of the front. Oh, okay. So I don't want anybody to panic and think we're blowing stuff up here in the studio. Okay. That would be a really bad idea. Okay. I will be quickly replaced. They're just little pointers. <laughs> okay, I thought it was a weapon I could use of exactly. some kind. Okay, that's different. Now, how much, how expensive is something like that? Yeah, it's actually running at about $500 right now. Okay. This is really an early adopter unit, and I want you to know, engineers, IT, PP, people that are geeky like us here at CNN, we love stuff like this, <laughs> but really to be commonplace, we're going to see this a few years out, but it is available. That's okay. the bottom line. And again, the components in this unit are used in robotics labs across the planet, which is awesome. Okay. Well, they're telling me to move on to the next thing. They can tell I'm so fascinated by the <laughs> robot, but let's get to the glasses. This other way to spy on folks. Yeah. You, I got to see these. Let me see the glasses. Yeah, for sure. So this is really cool. Imagine being able to take video of everything that you're seeing. It's like kind of having your own personal helmet cam, which is awesome. Okay. So these glasses, they have the controls on the side. Not only can you take video, and you can see my footage here in Times Square. It's kind of like a helmet cam, as I said. Wow. You can take video. You can take still photos. And also, it gives you the capability to actually have an MP3 player built right in as well. So now you can do all these things with covert sunglasses, which is pretty awesome. And okay. also, I love that it has a three to four hour rechargeable battery and up to four hours of video storage. And I mean, they're not that geeky, right? Uh, well, I, well, they're not made by Gucci, clearly. Um, but how much, is, how much is something like that? Okay, these aren't bad. These run anywhere from $69 to $99, okay, which isn't terrible. And again, to have four hours of video footage, no one knew in Times Square that I was taking video of them. It's incredibly wow. covert, which I think is pretty cool. And the quality, as you saw, isn't grainy. I was expecting it to be yeah. really terrible and really pixelated. Pretty decent. That is pretty good. Katie, you got some good stuff today. We do appreciate it. Oh, we're, you just wait for the next hour. It's wait, even better. Next hour, we got some new stuff. All right, Katie, you got to yeah. do a lot to top uh, <laughs> laser shooting robot and the glasses. Katie, we will see you again here shortly.